So guys, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at this Bachman Santa Fe styled 4A4 uh, for a northern, whatever you want to call it. This one appears to be dressed as a CVQ 05. Is that what they were called? I don't know. I'm not. I'm clearly not uh, an expert on either of these roads. But um, yeah, this is another thing I found in a bargain bin. But uh, yeah, so this is the early pancake motor design um, I, I don't know if it was obvious also this tender weighs nothing if you threw it at like a brick wall it would shatter into a million pieces wow that feels really top quality but uh, yeah so I guess we'll just start with cleaning the wheels I apologize in advance but I got some weird q-tips cotton swabs whatever you want to call them I don't know, they were like beauty products, and nobody wanted them, so you you know me, it's, it's if you don't want it, I'll take it, uh, yep, th that, that's my motto, if you don't want it, I'll take it, uh, put, put that on an inspirational poster. Okay, so it turns out some of these have like pointed tips, so I'm just going to use those, just, just so we can get into all the cracks, you know, we're just... We're just cleaning the wheels, you know, just standard stuff you do when you when you get a new engine, right? Right? Better be right. Oh, wow, these are already starting to look a little a little cleaner as well. Those those are pretty gross. Oh, that, that's just what happens when you neglect it for a long time. I'm sorry that I can't give amazing angles, but I need to be able to do this while also being able to see. And those wheels should be clean. Hopefully. Probably. Most likely. I'm only going to do one half, just to... Just so you're not sitting here for hours on end. Um, I'm getting in there, I promise. I promise, I'm getting in there. I guess I'll soak up this end. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting in there. It's really not nice and jammed in there. I guess I'll do these even though they don't have any sort of electrical pickup whatsoever. Okay, this isn't Broadway Limited. Okay, we don't make every single, we don't make every single wheel pick up power, okay. Oh wow, this is a poor camera angle. Wow, that is a nightmare. Um, the way these are mounted makes them move literally any way possible. It's like, like, okay, for what it is, it's not terrible. It's just terrible. Why are you even cleaning the, like, not powered wheels? The, the, the non-electrical pickup wheels. You know, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, I guess uh, all the wheels are clean, at least the driving wheels, because I know those pick up. Uh, all the wheels on the tender are plastic, and so there's not really a point in cleaning those. You might as well just replace them. But now we're going to see... Everything inside the gearbox. If the screwdriver can grip this poor thing. Ugh. Bachman needs to not tighten their screws. Like, I know that this model is easily 30, 40 years old. And the same factory workers couldn't possibly be working on the same assembly line. But they need to, like... You know, not do that. Because that's not cool. Um... We just lift... Uh, I mean, I, I see a clear split. Are, are we just not allowed to go in here? There's no way in. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I, I've taken it apart. Uh, you know, it's, it's whole. Everything's here. Don't, don't worry about that. Uh, this is a pretty weird assembly. Um... Not gonna lie, I, th I thought this was like a Senator Press flat car according to the diagram. I mean, look, look at how rinky dink this is. 
Uh, whatever, Bachman. It's all Bachman. There, there still is a smoke fluid machine in here. Uh, I am praying that all hell doesn't break loose. If I do try and use this in the future, or to whoever this goes to. Again, I'm still not sure. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, it looks like it is, it's open frame like this, so I'll probably just give a lubrication guide. Okay, so just like I demonstrated in the last video, you put all your heavy stuff on the gear, put a whole lot, like, like, don't. Like, don't put too much, but, like, don't be afraid to get it in there. And after that, you're going to want to go in with your light stuff. Get all the bearings. I don't know why I'm shaking like there's an earthquake. Okay, earthquakes don't happen up here. Just get in there. And then I guess you would do the same for these guys. So for, you know, with these, you just get in there. And with these, you know, and with these guys, you just wanna just get a little bit in there. Not a whole lot. I'll wrap it back around. Okay, sure. Just, just a little bit. The tender is just gonna be a whole lot easier. Go in with your light stuff. Give it a give it a little squeeze. You know, just just sort of stuff that you'd usually do. Don't be afraid to get it everywhere or anywhere. Don't be afraid if it gets anywhere because these these are all plastic wheels, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. Flip it over. And we do the same exact thing. Uh, you probably can't see it too well, I'm sorry. Huzzah! You've done it. Now we're real quietly. Oh, uh, and I don't think I pointed out that this thing actually has a, a knuckle coupler clipped onto the back, so that, that will that will improve the longevity of literally anything if you're just given knuckles. Uh, okay, so it, it's back together. Uh, I just realized that I completely forgot to film the reassembly process. But it's the same exact thing as taking it apart, except uh, putting it back together. So, uh, yeah, you'll see this thing... You'll see this thing on the track in a second. Okay, so here is our cb and Northern down at the track. Um, it honestly doesn't look terrible. Uh, I am sitting several feet away from it, so it's, it's obviously going to look a little different. But now that it's actually clean, it actually looks kind of good. Uh, let's, let's get it going. You know, that actually wasn't terrible for, for a Bachman pancake motor engine from at least 30, 40 years ago. That wasn't terrible. Of course, that's nothing compared to my Niagara, my Berkshire 611, so on and so forth. But for what it is, this is actually pretty good. Um, I'm not really sure if this engine is going to be sticking around. Um, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it. and. Um, the only other 484 Northern style engine that I need is a UP FEF1, which, unless I modify like an Atherin Genesis 844, I have to either get one in brass or completely make one myself, which both are pretty financially unstable options. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, th I think this might be for sale. Um, there probably won't be a listing posted, just because I've literally had this for two weeks and there's no reason to be like, Oh my god, Rockman 1445 had this! Ah. I swear to- if any of you are like that, you're- you're a simp. I don't need simps. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me for acting slightly unprofessional. 
Uh, so that is going to have to do it for this week's video. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.